My name is Daniel. I'm a gay man who has decided to approach life far from the chaos of a city. To many, this might sound weird, as it's even harder being gay out in the middle of nowhere. I mean, how do you even meet someone out here and fall in love? A part of why my ex and I broke up was for the fact that I wanted this kind of lifestyle. So why am I so eager to live like this? Well, I could try to describe it to you with words like peace and freedom. But I want to do more than that. I want to show you. Do you guys hear that? here all day long. Hi everyone, I'm so glad to have you here with me and that I get to share a few moments of my life with you. Let's get started right away, and I thought we would start with the slowest part of my days, the mornings. The first thing I do every morning is to make sure I rehydrate properly. I like my water ice cold, and the water here does not disappoint. This time of the year, the mornings are cold, even though spring is right around the corner. So I have to make sure I have enough firewood to keep the house warm throughout the day. As you might see here, I'm not really the best at chopping firewood. I guess that's my gay side coming out. But so far, I've always managed to prepare the firewood without getting hurt. But just chopping the wood is obviously not going to be enough. Without actually preparing and starting the fire, the house will soon start to get cold. I usually use sawdust to start my fires. It's the perfect thing to get it all started. After finally feeling the warmth of the fire spreading across the house, I prepare something for lunch. This will be my first meal of the day, since I always skip breakfast. Then I like to sit down and watching something while eating. Here I'm watching my favorite YouTuber, Jonna Jinton. So personal hygiene is a little bit more tricky here in the cabin than it is in the city. I don't have access to an unlimited amount of hot water. It's very limited. We do have a shower, but I don't know. I just feel like it's a hassle to shower in the cabin. So I actually often go to the ri- to the ri- <laughs> so I actually often go to the river or the lake to um, to shower there. I'm crossing the bridge to the river right now so I'm almost at one of my spots. And I put on these dark winter pants to make sure that my body will be warm. And uh, the sun is really strong today so my body my body temperature is very high which would be so nice to get into the water. I like the contrast of being warm and then ice cold water. Woo! <laughs> 
It's just such a good feeling afterwards. I highly recommend doing this to everyone. It will be cold at first, but the more often you do this, you will get used to it and you will start loving it. You will get addicted, I promise you. And now I'm just sitting here by the timber in the heat of the sun, warming myself up a little bit. It's such good Easter weather today. The sun is really warm. It's to the point that the life is coming back outside again. I have both seen a fly in the cabin and when I was setting up the camera right here, a bumblebee came and <laughs> sat on it. So the life is really coming back outside again. And the heat from the sun is making the snow melting. So all the smells of the forest is also coming back. And I just wish I could somehow bring this smell to you guys because this smell is really feeding my soul. It does so much for my well-being. Especially the smell of timber. I love the smell of timber. I don't like that they cut down the trees because I think we should let the forest be. But I have to admit that I really, really like the smell. I will soon have dinner, but what I'm really looking forward to is the dessert. The candy and the chocolate. It is Easter after all, and Easter for me is all about candy. I mean, every weekend is candy for me, and a lot of it, but now I have a very good excuse to have candy and sweets. A few months ago, I found vegan chocolate on sale, and since vegan chocolate usually is so expensive, I bought tons of it, like literally boxes. Most of it is gone by now, but I still have some left. And I'm gonna treat myself to some of that tonight. Ha ha! Hoo hoo! out here all day long and then do it all over again tomorrow. I still haven't had dinner or my sweets, but okay, I was gonna say I should get back home to, to have dinner and my sweets, but then I remember the lake is just right over there. So maybe I will go there first. I think so. hear that? The birds has just gotten back to Sweden for spring. Other than that, it's completely 
complete silence out here. You can hear the birds, you can hear the wind through the trees, and your own thoughts. Something I can't hear in the city. I'm trying to see if we have a lantern here in the... Yeah, I don't even know what to call this place in English. Like, where you have all your tools and just stuff. But so far, I can't see any lantern. I know we have a very big one, but I want a smaller one. I'm gonna take a look at the attic too, if there might be a lantern up here. I don't think so, but it's worth a look. There's a lot of old stuff at least. they used back in the day. Very old skis, wow. They're so old. I didn't even know we had these. Wow. When you get into the car and feel that it's warm in here, that is such a spring feeling to me. It's finally warm in the car again. People are actually throwing stuff out from the street while they're driving. I cannot believe this. It's, oh my god, I cannot buy. Yeah, but I cannot believe that people don't care to that point. Like, uh, it's insane. Ugh. If you followed me for a while, you know that I own a van. A broken van. One that I haven't known what to do with, since I would basically have to change the whole engine to fix it. But that doesn't mean I've stopped caring for it. So a few times since I parked it, I made sure the battery hasn't died. Look what I found here. It's Alex's old cap. Well, he used to have when we were out on adventures. That really makes me miss the old time, both with Alex and the van. There's not a lot of memories, but the ones that I have with the van are so dear to me. It's the time Alex and I spent together, and it was just such a wonderful summer. Now I'm gonna wear this cap. Hey darling, can I tell you what's been on my mind? Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city life. Mm, mm, mm. It's so good. Hot food is when, the best when it's raining outside. Get mm -hmm. out of town. See the beautiful world around. Want to see it now. Pack our bags and get in that car. Leave a little note and we'll drive real far. Let's get out, we can leave this city. Let's drive to the open air. Yeah, the countryside is so pretty. With the wind blowing in your hair. We can look back someday. Baby, don't you understand that we only get one life away? But it's still broken. It's still leaking oil. But 
I was worried it wouldn't even start. So I'm relieved that it started. Oh! 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 I'm trying to lure a moose out. I have seen poop that I think is from a moose and some branches that I think a moose might have broken. So there might be a moose nearby. Okay, the sun is starting to go down. I don't think I will be fortunate enough to see a moose today. So I'm gonna pack up my things and head back home. As I stood there in the forest, attempting to call for the moose by mimicking its sounds, I couldn't help but feel a sense of awe and wonder at the world around me. Even though my attempt was not successful this time, it was still a fun experience and my imagination could travel to the time I will succeed, and that alone made me feel such a connection to nature around me. But sometimes it's the small moments that truly make life worth living. Like sitting in front of a warm fire, having a piece of your favorite chocolate, knowing that just outside, the stars shine bright over the cabin. It's these moments of simple joy that remind me why I'm approaching this kind of life. Far, far away from the hectic pulse of the city. No matter what I'm doing, deep within the forest is where I belong. <laughs>